try to open up and find some more space. Lift the ribs, pull in a little bit extra. Exhale, drop your head. Look all the way back. Bring that louder hum. Please push all that air up. Keep it going. Try to get those bodies warmed up. Go all the way to the end. Inhale, bigger and stronger. Each breath a little bit more. See if you can stretch up all the way to the ceiling. Open up the inner costal muscles. Exhale, let it go. Head back. Release it away. Creating even more space. You got it. Fuller and stronger. Better. Keep the breath. Keep going all the way. Elbows tight. Inhale. Chin returns back down. Trying to find that extra space. Opening up. Expanding the lungs. Stretch up. Fill the lungs a little bit more. Beautiful. Exhale. Release. Let go. Louder. Hug. Try to get it all up. Create some more space. Fuller and stronger. Deep the breath. You got to keep going all the way out to the end. Inhale. Continue to expand. Warming up those bodies up from the inside out. Today we did a little bit more, so really challenge yourself. Stretch up a little bit taller, pull in that little bit extra. Exhale, let it go. Head back, releasing it all out. Create this extra space. You're gonna push it all the way to the end. Good, inhale, three more breaths here. Best breath so far. Really give yourself a chance. Challenge those bodies, this is it. Try to expand the lungs a little bit more. And exhale, release, let it go. Head back, release it all the way. Make more space now. Fuller, stronger, better, deeper set. Almost there to that end. Elbows touch. Inhale, two more. Your best two. Try to find it. More expansion. Try to fill up. You need your full stretch up and pull in more. Exhale, let it go. Head back, release it all the way out to the end. Create this extra space here. Keep it going. You got it all the way. Elbows in. Last one. Inhale. Best one. Best. Fullest, strongest, deepest breath. Keep it going. Try to stretch up all the way. Pull until you get dizzy. And exhale, release it back. Let it go. Releasing it all the way out to the end. Make that space now. Push it away. Keep it going. Elbows lift up. Pull them up high from the chest. Good. Release your arms to your side. You can do a couple of shoulder rolls, maybe a little gentle neck roll if that feels good to you. And we'll go right into your second set. Second set, remember they're better, stronger, and deeper breaths. Let's do this again. Get ready. Second round. Let's start. Inhale. New air comes to your nose. Elbows stretch up all the way to the ceiling. Opening up. Try to find even more. Stretch up a little taller. Pull in more. Exhale. Drop the head. Look all the way back. Outer mod. Release and push it away. Keep it going. You've got to push it out all the way. Elbows lift up high. Inhale, chin returns back down. Try to find it. even more expansion. You're looking for that deeper set of lungs. We're doing even more today. We have to stretch up all the way. Pull in more. Exhale, let go. Head back. Release it out. Create this extra space. Fuller, best, strong, deepest breath. You got it all the way out. Inhale, opening and expanding. Each breath. A little bit stronger, a little bit deeper, stretching up all the way to the ceiling, pulling in extra air. Exhale, release. Let that go. Create even more room. Push it out all the way. Elbows lift up. Try to pull them up high. Go up away from your chest. Inhale for six, five, four, three, two, and your one. Good. Exhale. Six, five, four, three. Two, elbows come up, lift them up nice and high. Good, inhale, you're almost there. We're nearing the end, so really give yourself a chance. Find even more expansion of those lungs. Stretch up all the way, pull in extra air. Exhale, release. Let that go. Create even more space here. Fuller, best, strong, deepest breaths are coming up. Push it out all the way to the end. Inhale, last three. Your best here. So this is it. We get to warm up the bodies with this breath. Really get yourself to stretch up. Open up. Pull in extra air. Exhale. Release. Let go. Make some extra room. Push it out. Make even more air for that next set. All the way. Elbows tight. Inhale. Last two. Your best. Your fullest. Your strongest. Your deepest. This is it. Make it happen. Try to make it all the way. Stretch up. Pull in. Exhale. Let go. Release that out. Creating even more space. Fuller, better, stronger, deeper breaths go all the way out to the end. Final one. Inhale, the best breath of your day. Let's open up. Try to find it. Fill the lungs. Stretch up. Ribs up. Lift up. All the way pull in. Exhale, release. Let it go. Let that out. Create this extra space. Push every last ounce of all the air out. All the way to the end. Elbows come in tight. Good. 
release your arms to your sides. Again, if you push shoulder rolls, if that feels good to you. All right, so just a nice reminder, especially if you don't have any space here or anything to warm you up, just be very gentle with your body. So let's not go over the top. Give yourself a chance just to get moving today. We'll start with half moon pose, Ardha Kandrasana. Your feet are together, keep them, toes and heels touching each other. They stay really tight. We'll take a big breath. Inhale, take the arms up overhead. Interlock your 10 fingers, release the index, and keep your thumbs crossed. Try to move your palms all the way up to the wrist so there's no gap here between the palms. Shift your weight all the way back in towards your heels, activate the lower belly. Inhale, lift, and then stretch up extra tall. We'll ride it up several times. Ride and lunge, ride and left, ride and left. So you're giving your body a nice stretch. A little extra this morning. Give yourself a chance to warm up those bodies. Get a little bit more open, loose, comfortable, and flexible. Up and over right, up and over left, lengthening out, earning a little bit of extra flexibility. And then once you're complete, stop right yourself right into the center. Shift your weight, make sure you pull all the way, pull it back in toward your heels. Have your arms stay forward in space with your upper body leaning back just a couple of inches. Chin out, arch strong, and keep your biceps tight glued to your ears. Inhale, lengthen and stretch up extra tall, touch the ceiling. Slowly and gently start to bend the body over to the right. Without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Push yourself as far as you can over to the left beyond your flexibility. Feel this tremendous stretching going on all over the left side of your body, from your fingertips down into your toes. Your breath should stay slow, in through the nose and back out through the nose. Chin up in space to make sure you see your full neck in the mirror, and your arms are coming all the way back to your ears. Try to lock your elbows up, and attach to straight and super strong, even possibly losing the gap between your palms. Press your hands completely shut. Pull your left toe a little forward to get your two hips to come to one line. And then scoop your right shoulder, the under shoulder, forward more to open your chest up. Lengthening this whole left side body, but without letting the right side collapse. Your lower belly zips in a little tighter. Shift your weight all the way back into the heels. For your last few breaths, we'll go for your back stretch. Push, push, and push. Change. Gently return. Come right back up. Inhale again. Stretch up. Get up all the way tall. Slowly and gently, let's move to the left. Push yourself as far as you can over to the right. And now we get to lengthen and stretch the whole body from up and over toward the back left corner of your room. Chin up in space, arms back with your ears. Try to lock out those arms. Get your arms extra straight. Get them super strong, even perhaps a little bit gap between your palms. This time, pull your right hip a little forward. Get your two hips to come to one line. Then scoop your left shoulder forward to open up your chest and your rib cage. Lengthen all over now your right side body. Lower belly zips in a little tighter. Shift your weight all the way back. And for those last few breaths, you're in it. Your best. Push, push, and push. Change. Gently returning. Come right back. Backward bend. Swallow if you need to. Take a breath. And allow your head to come back. Take another breath. Arms come all the way back. Your biceps are to your ears. Try like the wall behind you. Your maximum weight is in your heels, your legs are strong, and your back is running as hot as cement. Your lower back, middle back, and upper back, toes, spine, back are bending. Continue to breathe as you push, so you push stomach, right and hips, push them forward more as you lift your chest up. Look back a little further and keep breathing. Go back, fall back, more back. Change, gently return it from back through to the center. Stop in the middle. Start to bend your knees to the back. Bring your hands in, take your ten fingers to the touch the mat. Move and wiggle your hips out several times. We'll be here a little bit extra today. Warm up those bodies. Let's try to get yourself to move in the knees. Feel free to get those hips to move around. Get some yes and no's. Really give yourself a chance to warm up your body. Let's loosen the mat. Get your bodies more comfortable, more flexible. Feel free to give your guys nose. Come into a squat, give yourself a big hug. Just give yourself a second to warm those bodies up. See if you can earn that little bit of extra flexibility here. Breathing, allowing yourself to find your open self. Good. We'll go right into your hands to feet pose, your Padma Sakha. So bend your knees deeply. Glue your stomach onto your thighs. Glue your chest onto your knees. Wrap the arms all the way back and behind your calves to scoop up your heels from underneath. Try to get elbows to tuck back as close together behind your calves as you can. 
we will make the fingers through side by side, and if you want to write this group of your fingertips, try to make sure they point forward in the exact direction of your toes. Gently start to roll your weight forward like a heel toward your toes, allowing your head to hang in low. And then breathe, find the tremendous stretch going on all over the backs of your legs. Then do your best to try to relax your shoulders away from your ears. And if it is accessible, pull your forehead in closer to shin below your knees. Pulling in the object of stretching so you each exhale, pull harder, legs are straighter, lift your hips up a little bit higher, learn to press your chest into your knees so one day you can lock your knees. Last few breaths, weight forward, re-engage, pull harder, legs straighter, change, gently return, come back up, arms up your ears, and then exhale, release, send the arms back to your sides, and we get to do a second round. Good, you ready? Let's go. Inhale, take the arms up over here. Interlock your fingers. Release the index. Keep your thumbs crossed. Try and pull your palms again all the way up to the wrists. Shift your weight. Pull it all the way back to your heels. Inhale, lengthen and stretch up extra tall. Slowly and gently start to bend to the right. Push your hips up all the way to the left. And here in the second set, start where you left off in the first set. See if you can get those hips out a little further, a little deeper to the left side of the room. Find your flexibility. Find your extra work your discomfort zone. Chin up in space, arms back all the way to your ears, try to block out those arms. On this side, pull your left hip forward, your right shoulder forward. Lengthen all over left side body. Lower belly is in extra tight. Shift your weight, pull it all the way back, and let's go for those last few breaths. Remember, you're going for your best stretch side body. Push, push, and push. Change, gently return and bring yourself right back up. Next side, inhale, lengthen, stretch up, get up all the way tall. Slowly and gently start to bend. Over to the left. Chin up, arms back. Try to lock out those arms. Get your arms extra straight and super strong. Perhaps even leave the gap between your palms. If you're on the side, your right hand comes a little forward. Get your two hips to one line. Left shoulder forward. Open up your chest, your rib cage. Lengthen all over this right side body. Lower belly zips in a little tighter. Shift your weight forward all the way back. And for those last few breaths, you're in it. Last three. Push. Push and push, change, gently return and bring your breath back. Your back bend, swallow if you need to. Take a breath and allow your head to come back. Take another breath, arms come all the way back. Biceps are glued to ears, try to touch the wall behind you. Your maximum weight is in your heels, your legs, they are strong, and your back are bending is coccyx to neck. Lower back, middle back, and your upper back, whole spine and back are bending. Focus on your breathing here as you continuously push. Push stomach, legs and hips. Push them forward more as you lift your chest, bring it up high towards the ceiling. Look back a little further to breathing. Go back, fall back, more back. Change, gently return, come back through to the center. Stop, start to bend the knees. Come down, bring your hands, touch the floor. And let's move and wiggle your hips out again several times. Wiggles and shakes and cha-chas. Yes, no, dips and squats. Get your bodies moving so you can allow yourself to earn a little extra flexibility. And then we're going to the second hand sweet pose. So bend your knees deeply, glue your stomach to thighs, glue your chest and knees, wrapping the arms all the way back and behind your calves to scoop up your heels from underneath. So you're trying this second time around to put your elbows even closer together behind you. Gently start to roll your weight forward like a wheel toward your toes and allow your head to hang low. And then find your breathing. Find each of your deep exhalations as a tool to lift your hips up a little higher. Breathe, exhale, press your chest into your knees. So eventually, the future you straighten your legs, hips up toward the ceiling, and lock your knees. Last few deep breaths for the second set. Weight is forward, re engage, go harder, legs straighter. Lock your knees. Change. Slowly return. Bring yourself right back up. Arms up and tight to ears. Exhale. Wait. Send the arms down to your sides. And we get to move on to the top of the awkward pose. Right foot step out to the right. It's a six inch gap. It's six inches between your toes. Six inches between your heels. Looks like a number 11 with your feet. Bring your arms up strong. They're parallel to the floor. Five fingers are together and forward towards the front mirror. Exhale. Bring the knee. Upper body looking tight. And sit down. Squat down, feet flat, and back into a chair. Shifting your maximum weight all the way back into your heels with your upper body leaning back and your face showing up in the air. Pulling the belly and tight up and hollow it. Opening the knees up, make sure there's a six inch gap between your toes, knees, and hands, six inches apart. Chat up all the way. Chin up, 
shoulders down, relax from the ears, then lean back, go back, fall back, sit back, change, yes, we're turning, come back up, arms stay there. Second part is to your toes, toes. maximum line of outer band, try to lift off your heels, come up as high as you can to your tip toes, take a breath and sit down on top of your toes, spine is straight, try your best not to lean forward, hips to head, touch your mat and your roll right behind you. Come up higher on your tiptoes and push your knees up towards the ceiling. And then bring your hips down into a chair, or down below the chair. Higher on your toes, push your knees up even more. Sit down, you can rise here, go lower. Three, two, and one. Change, gently return, come back up. Last part, lift your heels, squeeze your knees in together and forward. Gently descend. Squeeze your knees tight, cross together, come down. Find yourself into your one half inch little gap here between your hips and heels. Arms and legs are parallel to the floor, spine is straight, so from the side looks like you're holding a big box. Spine is strong, hips lifted one half inch up off the heels, try not to rest. Change, breathe in, engage your core, spine is strong, slowly and gently coming right back up, and then take your feet together, release your arms back down. We can do it a second time. Right foot steps back out, same footprint. Six between your toes, six between your heels. Looks like a number 11 with your feet. Arms come up, strong arms. Exhale, breathing, step your bellies in. Sit down, squat down, feet flying, hips back to a chair. Pulling the belly up, tighten it up, and hollow it. Opening knees up, remember it's a six inch gap. Toes, heels, knees, and hands, all six inches apart. Shoulders down, chest up, lean back, go back, fall back, change, wake up, come back up. Second part is to your tiptoes. Try to lift up off your heels. Take a breath. Sit down on top of your toes. Spine is straight. Try your best not to lean forward. You have your hips and head sliding down an imaginary glass wall right behind you. Come up higher onto your toes. Push your knees up even more. And then sit down into this chair. You're here. Three, two, one. Change. Gently return. Arms stay there. Last part. Lift your heels. Squeeze your knees in together and forward. Gently, slowly. Descend. Take your time. Slow yourself down. Descend and find your one half inch. Tiny little gap here between your hips and heels. Just a little gap. Arms strong. If you have healthy knees you want to test, you can. Balance a few times. Woo. Come up and down. And then stop and balance. Squeeze your knees, engage your core. Come back up as slow as you can. Spine strong. Squeeze the knees. Strongest leg. Come right back up. Feet are together. Release the arms back. Good. The pit is equal. Inhale, take the arms up over your head. Hands, palms, they will touch. Swing your right arm underneath your left. Cross elbows, try the wrists. Hands into prayer or in your lock. Ideally, the thumbs are in toward your face. Hold an elbow to the floor. Try to tuck them down. Sit all the way low, bring your hips down into your chair. Pull your right leg high up and over your left leg. Try to wrap your hand twist your foot back and behind your calf. See if you can get all five of your toes to show visible to the other side of your calf. Now sit down lower, keep twisting. Gently drop your knees to the right and your upper body to the left. In your center, you'll bring one line. Nose, hands, elbows, knees, and feet. One straight one. Sit down two more inches. Pull your upper body back. Change. Arms come up. Other side. Big swing. Left arm. Underneath right arm. Hook elbows. Try for wrist. Ideally, your thumbs they point toward your face. Pull the elbows down and sit low. Bring it down. Keep your right leg bent. Pull your whole left thigh up and over your right thigh. Trying to wrap toes and twist your left foot back and behind the calf. Trying to get those toes to show on the other side. Then sit down. Become the tiniest and shortest person possible with your legs. But have your upper body leaning back so your spine is upright. Knees draw to the left, upper body goes to the right. You're stacking that 14 major joints, seven on each side. Sit down two more inches. Change, arms come up. Last round, right arm again, underneath. Try to get that next grip, maybe those hands in prayer. Pull the elbows down, possibly see your nose. Pull your right leg. Up and over. Rapid hook twist. Try to sit down. Become that tiny short person with your legs. 
Pull the upper body back, spine upright. Draw the knees right, upper body left. Try to stack everything up, and then sit down. Go for it. Three more angles. Pull your upper body back, belly in, elbows down. Change, arms come up. Last one, left, under right. Wrap through and twist. Pull the elbows tucking down. Sit all the way low, this is chair. This is it, last one. Left leg, up over right. Sit down lower and lower. Knees to go to the left, upper body goes to the right. Try to get it all to stack. Now sit down. Do your best. Pull your upper body back. Belly pulls in extra tight. Elbows tug down to the floor. Sit down another inch. Shank. Arm come up. Exhale, release. And enjoy your water. It's your party time. Please enjoy. working so give yourself a challenge perhaps it's just learning to balance and that's okay our next three poses we balance on one leg for each eye so take your time set your focus find one spot to stare at especially if you don't have a mirror we're working on that balancing side engagement of the leg but also put some mass on that focus so let's try it we'll start standing hands and knees Shift your maximum weight to your left foot. Round into the floor. Make sure that leg is straight and strong. Round forward. Pull your belly in tight and pick up your right foot. Get your grip with your hands. We want a ten finger tight interlock living to living grip. Now find that point of focus wherever you are and make sure you stare at it. Your standing leg is straight, strong, solid, concrete, one piece unbroken. Taking your time, especially if your body's pretty cool, take a little extra. Standing leg is firm, strong, solid, no knee. You're welcome to stay in the first part of the pose as long as you need to. Remember that standing leg must stay stable. It does not bend, it does not wobble. If you're running, that standing leg is set. Inhale slowly, lift your right leg up. Extend it, the right leg is exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Your left leg will maintain the strength in that standing leg. You hold it there, everything stays firm, straight, and strong. Start to press your heel forward more and angle your toes back. Once your both legs straight down, start to bend the elbows down, and eventually the elbows drop below the calf. Focus left leg. Maintain strength, standing side strong. Change. Straighten your arms. Bend your knee. Pull your feet together. And we get to do a second side. Wipe your hands if you choose. Shift your weight down to your right. Round forward, belly in. Let's go for that grip. Ten fingers. Interlocked underneath your left foot. Now make sure those thumbs are part of the grip, that's part of the pose. Your right leg is now your strong, stable foundation. Your right leg is solid, concrete, one piece. Remember, you get every angle in this pose. Staying in the first part, even just balancing, holding your leg up in a 90 degree angle. Take as long as you need. Standing leg firm, solid. Once you're ready, slowly and gently. You can add on. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Extending, keep your left leg exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Right leg will maintain. Keep it there. Strengthen the standing side. You hold it straight and strong. Heel pushes forward more. Angle the five toes back. Once both legs straight down, start to bend the elbows down. Eventually, elbows drop in below the calf. Focus. Right leg. Hold here. Change. Slowly return, right back up. Feet are together, hands come onto the hips, lifting the chest, supporting the back bend, releasing out from that lower back. Give yourself a moment. Good. Let's go for a second round. Shift your weight to your left foot. Wipe your hands if you choose. Round four, belly in. Pick up your right. Get the grip. Standing legs straight and strong. Now you focus your spot wherever you're at. Make sure you hold it there. Your leg is straight, strong, solid, like a lamp. Once you're ready, inhale slowly, lift it up. Extend. Take your leg exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower. Your left leg maintains, hold it strong. 
Push your right heel forward more towards the air. Angle the five toes back. Once you're both like straightened out, start to bend the elbows down. And eventually these elbows drop below the calf. Focus. Shift your gaze. Tuck your chin in. Curl down. Pull your forehead to your knees. Change. Head up. Straighten your arms. Bend your knee. Bring your feet back together. We'll finish the last set. Shift your weight to your right foot. Ground forward belly in. Pick up your left. Get the grip with your hands. Remember your thumb is part of the grip. Your right leg is straight. Right leg is strong. You have it. Hold it there. Solid foundation. Concrete. No knee. Inhale, slowly lift the left leg. Extend and keep your left leg exactly parallel to the floor. No higher or lower. If you ever find that the standing leg is bending, come back to the first part of the pose. Focus. Take your time. Push your heel forward. Pull your toes back. Once you're both legs straighten out, start to bend the elbows down. Eventually, you know the strap below the calf. Focus. Right leg foundation. Shift your gaze. Tuck your chin in. Curl down. Forehead to Change. Head up. Straighten your arms. Bend your knees. Bring your feet together. Hands to hips. Lift your chest. Support the back bend. Releasing through the lower back. Good work. We'll go for standing bow pose. Bring your right hand up, palm facing up, elbow close to your body. Without flipping the wrist at all, hand comes off to the side, down, pick up your foot. Remember, it's an inside grip at your ankle. We're going for the inside. So your palm is out, thumb toward the back. Just grab your foot. Keep that nice grip. Pull the left arm up in front of you, chin to shoulder, tap your knee, pull them in together to start, and keep your hips in the right alignment. Inhale, stretch up and lengthen up tall. Exhale, kick your right leg. Kick it up, kick it back, kick it away. Fueling your pose here, extra strong kicks. Try to get this leg back, far from the body. Allow the right shoulder to get pulled back behind you, and then stretch your left fingertips forward. Your kicking and stretching become 50-50 simultaneous movement. Come down a little closer, kick up a little higher. Spread it forward for the crutch and see if you can send those toes back over the top of your head. Body comes down, kick up. Stretch forward towards the mirror, kick back. Charge forward more, bring your toes you back. Body down, kick. Stretch forward more, kick. Get that leg up, you're in it. Kick up, kick back, kick more. Change. Bring yourselves back out again. We can do the second set. Left hand up, palm facing up. Without flipping the wrist, hand comes off to the side. Hand comes down, drop it down, pick up your foot, scoop it up from the inside. This time it's your right arm up, straight and strong, chin to shoulder, top to knees. Inhale, lengthen, stretch up extra tall. Exhale, let's go. Kick your left leg, kick it back, kick it up, kick it away. Try to get this leg back. We want the leg to go far back away from your body, so much so that the shoulder gets pulled back with the force of the kick. You're stretching and kicking 50-50 movement. Come down closer, pick up higher. Stretch forward toward the front mirror, and see your toes point them up over the top of your head. Body comes in, kick up. Stretch forward toward the front mirror, kick back. Come down closer, kick. Stretch forward toward that mirror, kick. Body down, kick up more. Stretch forward, kick back higher, turn it on, kick, kick, kick. Change, good work, come right back up. Feet are together, you have an optional forward fold. If this feels good to you, maybe a little extra bend in the knee today. Breathing, allowing yourself to come back to normal breath pattern. We'll do a second round. Right hand up, palm facing up. Without flipping the wrist, hand comes off to the side. Hand down, pick up your foot from the inside. Hold it. Left arm up in front of you. Inhale, stretch up and lengthen up. Exhale. Kick. Get this leg back, far, away from your body. Allow the right shoulder to let go. Get it pulled back behind you with the force of the kick. And now remember, you fall up here right back in. Body down and kick back more. Stretch forward more, kick back a little higher. Charge your body forward. See the toes, pull them up. Body down, kick back all the way. 
stretch forward, more your leg flat, eight. Come down closer, kick, stretch forward, more kick. Get that leg up, kick, kick, kick. Change, gently return. Come back up, feet together. We got one more, let's go for it. Left hand at palm facing up. Without picking the wrist, your hand is off to the side. Drop it down, pick up your foot. Right arm is up, straight strong. Inhale, lengthen, stretch it tall. Exhale, kick. Kick it back. Kick it up. Woo, kick it away. Finding that extra strong hand. You're doing your best to allow the left shoulder down. Let it get pulled back behind you. So you're trying to get the two shoulders to come into one straight line. You're kicking and stretching. There's 50 50 movement. Come down more. Kick up. Stretch forward more. Kick back. Charging your body forward. Swing those toes. Get them up. Swing over your head. Got it. Body down. Kick. Stretch forward. Kick. Turn it on. Kick. 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 Change. Way to go. Come right back. Feet are together. Forward fold here. Releasing out. Slowing the breath. We go to our balancing state pose. So come all the way to the back side of your mat or your space. Feet are together. Let's get a breath. Inhale, take the arms up overhead. Interlock your ten fingers, release only the index, keep your thumbs crossed. Right foot steps forward. Shift your weight all the way to your front leg. Lock both knees and come down. Arm, body, head, leg. Make your way down in one straight line of energy. Arm work all the way. Move to your ears. You're looking up, about four feet in front of you, with your arms tight to your ears. Lock your knee and point your toes. Breathe, stretch, stretch, change. Foot returns right back. We go to the left side. Left foot steps forward. Shift your weight all the way to front leg. Lock both knees and then come down. Arm, body, head, leg, one straight line. Two directions here. Arm up high. Go tight, glue to your ears. Lock your knee and point your toes. Gaze about four feet forward. Arm up, leg up, stretch, stretch, change. Foot returns. Exhale, release the arms. And slow your breath. Allow your breath to soften. See if you can let yourselves relax for just a few breaths. Round two. Inhale, arms up. Aim to lock ten. Release index, thumbs crossed. Too much arms strong. Right foot forward. Shift your weight all the way front leg. Come down. Arms, body, head, leg. One single straight line of energy, two directions. Arm up high, tight, glue to ears. Lock your knee, point your toes, stretch, stretch. Change, foot returns, right back. Last one, left foot forward. Shift your weight all the way front leg. Lock both knees. Let's go. Arms, body, head, leg. One straight line. Arms up high, tight, glue to ears. Lock your knee, point your toes, breathe, stretch, stretch, stretch. Change, foot return. Exhale, release. And enjoy your water. It's a great time for your water break. Please enjoy. Nice work. Some of you did not get to mute, so I'll go ahead and mute you now. Good work, everyone. Woo, nice to see you all working hard. All right. How are you doing? Thumbs up? We good? Awesome. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go into our standing separate leg stretching pose. Woo, I love the energy, Tanya. Way to go. All right, let's come right back up. Standing separate leg stretching pose. So go wherever you have space over to your right side. So that might mean that you turn, maybe you don't. We'll take a breath. Inhale, take the arms up overhead. How do palms they touch? Right foot steps out. Over the mat, big step, your foot, arms down, palms down facing the floor. Pull your toes in just slightly toward each other, a little bit pigeon to move with your feet. Hips stay forward. Exhale, breathe and suck your bellies in. Swan neck forward. Place your hands to the floor in front of you. When you're ready, you're welcome to go for a grip. If your hands are on the floor, they're valid as long as you need them there. You do want your legs to work super hard and keep them straight and strong. Breathing and allow the gravity to help hold you in. Now, if you're using your breath control, remember, it's in through the nose and back out to the nose. But you're folding in each of those exhales is your tool. So engaging the legs, folding in with a straight spine. Your chin up, just pop forward so you keep a straight long spine. Over time, using the breath to fold your body down a little closer. Grabbing the ends of your fingers to the ends of your heels, and then slowly folding your body down a little deeper. Each breath is your tool 
to get yourself a little closer. Breathing in, weight forward, engage your legs, pull harder. And then change, slowly return, bring yourself right back up, right foot returns back, arms out, and exhale, release the arms back to your side. Great work, let's do that again. Inhale, take the arms up, right foot steps out, big step. Toes in just slightly, hips forward, upper body back, exhale, the other side, come down. Swan dive forward. Holding yourself in half to take your time. Allowing your body to ease into this breath, into this pose, rather than forcing. Breathing and finding your full stretch. Let it start in the back of the legs. Eventually move into your hips. You'll get into your lower and finally into your upper back. Lengthening and extending. And if it may be possible, to pull your forehead to touch the mat between your feet. Change, slowly return, come back up, right foot returns, arms up, and exhale, release the arms back down. Good, we go right into triangle, triangle, our master pose. Inhale, take the arms overhead, hands, palms, they will touch. Right foot steps up, big huge step, four foot distance, arms down, long down facing the floor. Spin your right toes out all the way, foot parallel to the mirror, left toes in, if you need it, so you're welcome to bring that left toe inward to keep your left hip forward. Bend your right knee to a square, sit it all the way low, stocking your joints, making sure that the knee and ankle are in one line. Hips forward, upper body back. Inhale, move just the arms. Pull your right elbow in front of your right knee, exactly, joint against the joint. Fingertips in the direction of the second toe. Look up and stretch up all the way toward the ceiling to the front wall you're facing so visible to the mirror, and you're stretching your entire body across in two opposing directions. Use this right elbow to push the right knee back, and push your left hip down and forward. Chest open, chin to shoulder, look up, stretch up, get to the ceiling, left knee long, left foot firm and flat. Change, move arms, straighten leg, right toes in, left toes spin all the way out. Option send the right toes inward, bend your left knee to the square. Try to sit all the way low. Remember, we want your knee to look like the side of the box. 90 degree angle. Hips forward, upper body back. Inhale, move. Left elbow in front of your left knee. Fingertips in the direction of the second toe. Look up, stretch up. Rally your hands pull you to the floor. You got to do the work. Lift yourself, use your own beliefs to lead to the ceiling. Chest open, chin to shoulder. Look up and stretch up. Keep your right knee locked. Right foot firm, pressed flat to the floor. Change, move the arms, straighten the leg, return the foot back, arms up, and exhale, release. Way to go, let's take one more in. Inhale, arms come up. Right foot steps up, all the way. Right toes, spin them. Left toes in if you want. Bend the right knee. Sit all the way low. Maybe walk those toes out a little further and go deeper. Hips forward, upper body back, move. Elbow in front of the knee, chin to the left shoulder. Now look toward the ceiling, pass that left thigh. Stretch up, get up nice and tall. Spin, turn and put the whole upper body back as the spine as you pose. Focus on your breathing, chest all the way open. Look up and stretch up, left knee locked, left foot firm and flat. Change, move the arms, straighten the leg, right toes in. Left toes out, last one. Bend your left knee. Spin it all the way low. Stack it up. Hips are forward, upper body back. Inhale. Move the arms. Left elbow in front of your left knee. Now you create a perfect triangle between your armpit and your thigh and a straight line from your armpit to your ankle on the other side. You're lengthening, stretching those right fingertips this time up toward the ceiling. Chest open, chin to shoulder. Look up and stretch up. Get up tall. Breathe, turn, twist your whole upper body back. Keep your right knee locked, right foot firm and flat. Change, move arms, straighten leg, right foot return, arms come up. And exhale, release down. Great work. Let's go into our standing separate leg head to knee pose. Big inhale, take the arms up overhead, hands palms into prayer position. This time, right foot steps out, over to the right, a three foot distance. Pivot, turn, all the way on your heels to face the right side. Bring your left hip forward. So we want this left hip head 
to push forward so the two hips are facing directly to your side. Arms down tight to ears, tuck your chin in, curve in, come down the front side, and take your forehead to knee. You can bend your front knee as much as needed. You're also welcome to separate your hands to the front of both sides of your foot. Breathe. Give yourself a chance to keep your breath slow. It's going to be harder to breathe here as we are compressing, pulling in all of your internal organs and legs. Eyes stay open, throat is choked. If you have the ability to find your balance, bringing your hands into prayer, arms straight, walk down in the air. Change, slowly turn. Bring yourself right back up. Then do this, turn on your heels. Turn side, turn all the way in the other direction. Right and forward this time, pull the right and forward the face. Your back foot foot 45 degree angle. Slowly, arms up to ears, tuck your chin in, curl in, come down, place your forehead up onto the knee. Bend your calf as much as needed. Eyes are open, throat is choked. Maybe those hands into your prayer. Arms are straight and locked out. Try to suck your belly in, hollow it in, and then give yourself a chest. Pull in all those internal organs and legs. So when you get up, you have this wonderful oxygenated blood back through them. Hands walk to curve your right. Take slowly bring them. Turn side, right foot back, and release the arms down. Excellent. Let's do one more. Feet are together. Setting back. Inhale, take the arms over your head, hand and palm touch. Right foot goes up over the mat. Pivot, turn on your heels. Face your side. Left hip forward. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly make it down. Tuck your chin in. Curl in. Come down the front side. Try to get that form of pressure to me. Curl in. Can never do that. If you can in a set, work on the left under your hips and your right hip up and your left hip down. That will keep it extra. And it's a prayer position. Make your right hip move all the way out to the straight. Walk out in the air. Change. Slowly pull it up. Come right back up. Turn face side. And then turn face the other direction. Pull your right hip forward. One, two, three, four, five times. Slowly make your way out. Tuck your chin in. Curl in. Come down. Place the forehead to me. You can bend your knee up as much as you need to. You're welcome to have those hands in prayer. Eyes are open. Throat is choked. Then we start to nice and tight. Arms are straight. If you can, the left hip will come up, right hip comes down. That will bring them a little more. Okay, slowly return. Bring yourself right back up. Turn to the side. Right foot returns. Release the arms. Way to go. Let's get into tree. Your feet are together. Shift your weight to your left foot. Ground it down. Pick up your right. Use two hands. Pull this leg up. Bring it up as high as you can. And place the heel onto your pelvic bone. Sole your foot up toward the ceiling. Your right knee. You can use your right hand to encourage your right knee down and back. Holding onto the foot from the underside with your left hand. Your right knee will come to the center of your chest. So long as your pelvis does not move, your foot does not slip, it stays way up. You can bring your second hand up to meet it too for Namaskar. But if you find that you're going for this duck butt to make this happen, you've lost the pose. So give yourself a chance. Try to have that nice, heavy tailbone and pelvis neutral. Change. Slowly return. Take your foot back. Let's go to the other side. Shift your weight to your right and pick up your left. Pull your left leg up. Use two hands. Hike it up as high as you can. Hold on to the foot from the underside. Now with your right hand, you can use your left hand to encourage your left knee down and back. Left hand up to the center of your chest. Now the other thing we see a lot of teachers is the hips going up to get the second hand in prayer. Make sure you have your two hips in alignment. Heavy tailbone, pelvis neutral, hands to prayer. Lengthen and stretch up all the way tall. Lift up. Change, slowly return your foot back down. Our next pose, you're welcome to do treat again or move into toe stand. Shift your weight to your left. Pick up your right. Pull your right leg up. If you're working on treat, remember you're always welcome to stay here, work on your balance. If you're ready for toe stand, your hands can come into prayer to start. Hinge forward from the lower spine. Standing legs stay straight. Send the hands down. Fingertips touch. 
Once they're there, then you will in your hands to support bending your knees and sitting your hips down to your heels. Once down, walk your hands to the outsides of your body, lengthen and stretch your spine up tall, and bring one hand into prayer at a time. Toes down, hands back in front of your knees, press yourself up. Meet your tree. And tree, release. Let's go to the other side. Shift your weight to your right, pick up your left. Now this side is the typically easier side for most people. You'd like to try it. You can always stay in tree, but if you're ready to, hands to prayer, hinge forward, standing legs straight, arms extend, fingertips touch, lift your heels, sit down. Once you're down, walk your hands to the outsides. Now make sure that when you are lengthening and stretching your spine, you're activating through the core. And bring your hands to prayer. Maybe even lift up off your heels. Toes can't come up. So enjoy a little water break. Come back. Enjoy a little breath on the floor. So as you're on your backs, see if you can slow your breath. And that will allow you to slow your heart. Your breath is so powerful. See if you can in the next few weeks learn to give yourself even more power by controlling the breath. Slowing down the 